Okay, a quick look at using Logic's MIDI Chase. Um, the idea of this is that if you have a long sustained uh, synth pad, for example, like I've got here. So that event is triggered at bar 14, note on, and then the note off will be here just before 21. And the problem is, if you start, if you wanted to work on, say, the middle section, and imagine this was a lot longer, say, you wanted to work on the middle section around, say, here. When you start logic up here, nothing happens. Why? Because the note's actually triggered back here at uh, bar 14. Nothing's triggered here at 17, which is really irritating. So the only way to start to get that to sound is to start from the beginning of uh, bar 14, or you could um, bounce it to audio. But then if you wanted to change the MIDI, then you'd have to do it all over again. So there is a solution, and it's in project settings. So file menu, project settings, come down to MIDI, and on the chase tab, you'll see the options for all the events that you can get to MIDI chase, as it's called. And there's one here called notes, which isn't selected. So let's put a tick in there, and then we've got a tick in sustained. And now, wherever we start this region up, Logic will play uh, the audio that you would expect to hear at this point. So it will analyze the project and work out what should be playing at, say, just before bar 17 like this. There it comes. And so now we can start anywhere and work on this um, region without having to always start from the beginning. It's, um, it's really, really handy. So that's that. And there's one other setting which is really useful. If you're also using a, a drum loop coming out of a sampler, say, like I've got here, so I've got a drum loop coming out of this contact um, sampler here. Um, sometimes, when you start the region from, say, just say randomly just here, it will just start that drum loop from the wrong position because it doesn't have, doesn't have a reference point. So it'll just start it from the beginning and it won't be right. And so it's quite useful sometimes to be able to exclude um, drum loops triggering from a sampler. And the way you can do that is in this track here, which has got our contact uh, drum sampler in it, if you go to uh, the track parameters, not the region, but the track parameters, and come down to the bottom, there's an option here called No Transpose. And if you put a tick in there, then this drum loop will not be triggered um, when we start in the middle of the region like this. So it's going to start at the next region there. And that will be, obviously, perfectly in time. And to do that, you have to have that no transpose option tick there. And in back in the um, project settings in MIDI and Chase, you just have to have in no transpose instrument channel strips here deselected, which I think it defaults to anyway. Anyway, that's uh, MIDI Chase in Logic.